Well, hello, Ray Lawrence, founder of Your Entertainment Partner, home of Worry-Free Entertainment and Magic Dinner and Bourbon. Just want to take a quick minute here and talk to you about how do we respond and what works best when we're communicating with people. You know how you communicate or reply to uh, certain scenarios really tells a lot about us. And you know, with the technology nowadays, there's so many different ways. You know, I grew up with a telephone, but I do have to ask you, when somebody is approaching you for the first time, what do you prefer? Do you prefer to get a text? Do you prefer to get an email or a telephone call? And if you get one of those, if you get the telephone call and they leave voicemail, what are the chances that you respond? You know, in our business, we find that no matter what type of an inquiry we get, we always make sure to respond and in a positive way, even if it means no business for us. So think about this. If you get an email from somebody that has an inquiry, wanting to know if you need their services or any way they can help, what do you do? Do you just treat it, let's say email, easy to throw it in the trash? Text, well, that kind of an inquiry, honestly, I think has no business being made. Texting should be once a relationship has been established. Or what about the good old telephone call? If they do get through to you, do you take time to listen? Do you take time to reply? And now on the other side, when you're sending things out, think about this. What's the best way to really establish the relationship with a person? First time call? Texting? No, 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 no. Email, a lot of times that's the only way we can reach out, especially if we have people that are acting as a gatekeeper for the people we're trying to get a hold of. Telephone call, you know, a lot of voicemails now, people just ignore them, which is going to bring me to my final point. Why do we ignore any of the above? <clears throat> Texting, email, phone calls, voicemail, even social media. What's the best way to put your best foot forward and show people that you at least have an interest in hearing them out as a person? I'd like to hear your feedback. Have a great day today, and we'll talk soon.